Hi and welcome to Teach Like Bianca. This video today is to introduce the very first video of a three-part video series that I put together to help you design your Teachers Pay Teachers product from scratch. And when I say scratch, I mean you're only using PowerPoint. So no clip art, no fancy fonts, no Canva, just PowerPoint. So we're gonna go, part one is just designing the product. Part two is going to be preparing it to upload the Teachers Pay Teachers. So that's adding a thank you page with your copyright info and making sure that you're flattening your uh, your product so things don't move around in PowerPoint and even turning into a PDF. As well, I'm gonna show you a couple of extra bonuses, which is how to turn a free product into a paid product using what we are going to use, which is we are building uh, reward certificates for your classroom or for students um, that can be, that I'm gonna put on Teachers Pay Teachers for free. And I'm gonna show you how to do all that as well. Day three is, what, is all uploading. So we're gonna be doing that together. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you wanna stick around and make sure you're here for all the videos, make sure you subscribe. Um, and if there's anything that you want me to add, that I might have missed in this first video, go ahead and put it down below so I can make sure to get it into the other videos or I can make a future video or future video series for that as well. So part one starts now. Let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that I do is uh, I get rid of these text boxes. So just click on them and backspace and delete them. You wanna start with a clean, clear slate. Next, I'm gonna go into design and go to slide size. And I'm gonna change the slide uh, through the custom slide size by putting 8.5 by 11, which is just the US letter size. And that's going to change it to a portrait shape. Here, I always use ensure fit. I have used maximize fit before and sometimes it comes out a little bit blurry. So this is why I use ensure fit. And I don't know if there's, you know, certain ways around that, but that's just what I always do. Next, I'm going to go in and create uh, borders. And a lot of sellers on Teachers Pay Teachers already have bought borders and fancy borders. But if we only have PowerPoint and we're only st we're starting out for the very first time, this is how I make my borders. And I don't even know if this is correct, but this is what I do. So you go to insert, go to shapes, and they have a variety of shapes. Um, but I always use the rectangle shape to make my border. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. So I just add in uh, a rectangle shape and then, because they don't have square. And then I just, I'm making the award certificate. So I'm gonna create the size that I think it's going to be. Um, and I'm going to make one at the top and one at the bottom and you'll see that in, in a little bit so once I have that I'm always once you whatever you do at the top or you're going to do at the bottom just cut and paste but I'm just going to use it as a placeholder for now I'm not going to create anything at the bottom uh, because what I do at the top I'm going to uh, just paste that down at the bottom later on so uh, I'm going to make it a slightly smaller and I'm gonna leave some space in the middle um, and I'm gonna spread it out later as well, but I'm gonna leave space in the middle because I want teachers to be able to, uh, to cut right there so they can make more than one award for their students. So here I'm gonna go into, um, I'm gonna change the color. You can change the color um, to anything that you want. And um, I'm just gonna use something bright for now and then if you go to shape outline you change the color but then if you go to shape fill and go to no fill that will get rid of the blue block that's there and so now you have somewhere to write inside without uh having to make or having to mess with the border so now i'm going to go to insert i'm going to go to um, icons and icons is where you're going to use uh, the clipboard that's already built into uh, PowerPoint. Uh, and this is great because you don't have to purchase any clipboard right offhand. Um, there's so many things that are here already. Um, and I just use uh, 
I'm going, there's so many things that are here that I'm, but I'm just going to use a trophy for the award and I'm going to just cut and paste that or go to just click on it and you can, it will insert uh, on the slide and then I'm going to go in and, and resize it. Um, and then I kind of resize it a couple times, but you know, you just want to make it visually appealing. Um, and you can also change the color and we're going to do that later on. So once I have that, I'm going to add a text box. So insert and then a text box. And then I'm going to uh, give the title of uh, the certificate. And I think I have student of the week and you know, you can have an award for anything. Student of the month, of course. Um, student of the quarters, what we used to have um, at one of my old middle schools. Um, reading award, math award, writing awards. Students of all ages love awards. Uh, even my middle school students. And I, I can imagine high school students as well because, you know, they want to show their, show their parents they're doing well. Um, so their parents are proud of them and they can go do things for their friends because, you know, they're doing well in school. So here I just changed the font and I'm just moving this around to make it uh, centered and just visually appealing. I have cursive here because I want to make it look official, but I try not to use cursive because a lot of students cannot read cursive, um, especially here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but if you do see um, students, if you do see uh, students that are using cursive, then um, they're probably taught by old school teacher. <laughs> so here I'm just adding in, I wanna maybe add some stars or something fun in there to show them that, you know, they're reaching for the stars or they're shooting stars, something um, just vi remember visually appealing for uh, the students and for the parents and for the teacher who, who will maybe download this or buy this from your teacher's pay teacher store. So I'm going for the shooting star and I'm going to move these things around so that it's not all cramped up and it kind of fits in there. Um, and you could change the color. You just click on it and it gives you some options in the graphic styles. Um, but you can also just go to um, the graphics outline, change that, and the, where there's a lot more colors as well. So once that I have that done, um, I'm going to go in and go to insert. And then I'm gonna add another text box because I'm gonna put like a, an awarded to. So student of the week, awarded to. Um, and I'm gonna to try to find a font that matches the student of the week font. And you can go to different um, places online and it will tell you what two fonts match together and sometimes I don't really like the two that match together so I really hardly ever go there because for the sake of time you could be there forever trying to browse through fonts that look look nice just like the list that's in the PowerPoint there's so much there's so much to go through so I'm going to do the awarded to I'm going to make sure that it's even and centered especially with the student of the week I'm gonna make it uh, large so it's easy to see and easy to read. And then you can see that it centers. So you can see the lines that are in the PowerPoint that helps you to center it even to uh, the text that's above you. It's centered to that and not centered exactly to, uh, to the page. Now, if you go to insert and go to shapes, you're gonna take a line and this is where the student's name is going to be written on. So I'm not, I'm, for some reason I thought that the line was um, uneven. So I was trying to like match it to the borderline to make sure that it was straight. And I'm just want the trophy cup to be slightly bigger. And then next, I'm just going, I'm trying to copy and paste it because remember what, you always want things to match and probably the easiest way is to copy and paste. But I'm just gonna go back in and go to uh, insert and then go back to shapes and go to lines. And I'm gonna add a line where it can be, where a teacher can sign and have their signature. So we wanna make this really official for, for students. 
and have um, another area where the date is going to go. So here I'm just trying to make sure that all the lines match up. The end of the, each line matches. And then I'm going to go in and add, um, I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to add a couple text boxes. And one of the text boxes is just, I'm going to say sign. So for whoever signs it, um, so, so whoever's giving the award, award signs it. And then I'm going to um, add another text box or I'm just going to copy paste and put a text box for the date. And I'm going to use the same font that I used before in the awarded to. So I want to keep it, keep all the same flow. You don't want to have a, more than, I, I've read somewhere you don't want to have more than three fonts or even more than three colors, um, depending on what you're working on, especially in such a small area for just the award uh, template. So I'm just going to cut and paste because that's how I know it's going to be even. I'm going to have the same everything's going to be the same and then I'm going to line it up because the word date is going to be smaller less letters than the word sign and here I'm just going to move it over so that it lines up evenly you can always thank those lines in PowerPoint to help you so this right here looks pretty good and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, the dark trophy color. So I'm going to change the color to, uh, I'm going to change the color to that same green that I have in the shooting star. Kind of like how bright that is. And I don't want a red and a green like it's Christmas. So I'm going to change it a little bit and change it to blue because I thought it looked more visually appealing. And I think that looks great just the way it is. It's just very clean and crisp and then I'm going to get rid of the blue box at the bottom because I'm going to take whatever I did at the top and I'm going to highlight everything and you want to take it from the top to the bo bottom or bottom to the top and highlight it all and cut and paste or copy and paste don't cut because then it will be gone and then I'm going to just move it down and with a little bit of space in the middle uh, so that teachers are able to cut. So if you want, if you don't get it right where you need it to be, just remember to highlight the whole thing again and move it all together. Stay tuned for part two where we prepare to upload to TPT.